Time now for Sid 6 0. This is where I get 60 seconds to talk about the Jays. Thank you. Blue Jays had to win Saturday in order to keep their season alive. It's the playoffs after all. You need a win to keep playing. That's a thing that happens in the playoffs. <laughs> and honestly, Saturday started out great. It was great. Two on one. Hernandez, high drive, left field, and it is gone. Jays were up 8-1. They won the game. They won again Sunday. Jays are now getting ready to take on Houston tomorrow night in the ALDS. Just kidding. This happened. And a devastating loss for the Blue Jays. <laughs> the Blue Jays on Saturday became the first home team in the history of baseball to blow a seven-run lead in a playoff game. Seven-run lead they blew. Ben Nicholson, Smith of Sportsnet, one of the amazing members of that crew who covered that debacle, is joining us this morning. Ben, are you? It's been three days now. I'm still digesting this. Are you still digesting this? A hundred percent. I have no answers. Like, I hope you don't ask me to explain it. I have many I questions really that I need answering. Yes, many. Yeah, it's it's been, honestly, it was a shocking turn of events, as you said, Sid. To be up 8-1, you have to win that game. Um, so Ross Atkins, the GM of the Jays, at 2 p.m. Eastern today, is scheduled to speak. We're, we're, we're going to hopefully learn a few things. One, is George Springer okay? Because he, he, that collision with Boba was nasty. We haven't heard anything since. John Schneider is still technically the interim manager until we hear different. He had a howler on Saturday. And by that, I mean mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake in the bullpen. Ben, if they announce today right off the front that John Schneider is coming back and he's the full-time manager, why on earth is another manager with basically zero major league experience the right answer here unless ownership just doesn't want to spend money on an actual manager? Well, you know, I think as recently as a few days ago, uh, John Schneider was really impressing and he had done a lot of things really well. Now, there is no doubt that his decisions backfired in a big way on Saturday. So what the Jays have to look at is does the fact that that one game went horribly, because it did, it went horribly, does that result from that game, um, do you separate that from the decisions themselves? Was there good thinking behind the decisions? And then more importantly, what's the best fit for this team moving forward? I still think there's a strong case, given his relationships with those players, for Schneider to be the guy moving forward. Uh, we, got, we got 20 seconds. If you get first question today in the Ross Atkins media availability, what is your question? Well, you know, realistically, it's asking about George Springer. But I, what I really want to know, Sid, is I want to know who on this core for this Blue Jays team would Ross Atkins trade. Because as much as they can bring this group back, I think that they're going to be open to some bigger things. And I want to know who they would really be willing to trade. That's a, that's a question I'd like to hear the answer to. There's going to be a few of them today. Ben Nicholson, Smith of Sports, and he's phenomenal. Great job. All, we're going to bug you again, believe me. But terrific job all season, Ben. You're great. We appreciate you. Thank you. Anytime, said. Wish we were still talking uh, baseball a little longer, but uh, happy to join you anytime. Uh, I hear you. Jays might still be in the headlines, but for different reasons. Thanks, man. Appreciate you.